McKelty is revealing what really happened between Cody and Rob and how they actually did meet and if Robin was plotting and planning on Cody. Mm. But let's get it to you guys. It is a Mary. We want you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon. Um, because we're going to get right into it. You know, yes. McKelsey is dropping some new little details, some little juicy tidbits mm. um, about the whole thing. Because a lot of people do believe that Robin um, went to that party or whatever that um, Mary, that's Chloe says, chased Robin down Stopped for him Chloe. to. Um, yeah. Yeah. So she basically said that, which I don't necessarily Probably agree. Probably her mama was like, look, there is a man over there. He's about to have a show. He seems to have some money, got three working women, and they're doing pretty well for themselves. This would be a great thing for you to do to get on in there. Well, also, McKelty did say that she does not believe that Robin went down there. Rob McKelty, which we're not surprised, but McKelty does believe that um, Robin went down there genuinely just to go to this whole AU, this um, polygamous yeah, um, ball. Because I think yeah, it was on ball. Valentine's okay. Day or whatever stuff. And she mm -hmm. said, because people were like, well, why would somebody drive four or five hours to go to this thing if they're not trying to look for a husband or they are not stalking Cody. Cody had seen her before already at the church. That's what they, he said in the book. He did say that. He, he said that in the book. He the church and looked at her and all that. And then she got up to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And she looked at him and saw him. Yeah. And then uh, I guess when she was coming back to her seat, he gets up. He was with his wives and he passes her and their eyes touch or caress. And then a friend of his finds out that he she was going to be at a friend of his house or something. No, it was this it was this party. It was this ball. So mm -hmm. it was a friend ball or whatever. It was something. That's yeah. what he said. But yeah. And then the person called him. I think when Robin arrived and said, "Get over there." Yeah. But I'm sure it was probably Robin's friend who said that mm -hmm. or who called him. But she they, said they both were checking each other out. I would not I be shocked that Robbie they even asked, made contact beforehand. And yeah. I'm sure Mary did go say hey, to probably I'm sure Mary did tell Cody go dance with her. That's but that was not Cody that's after Cody and her looking over his shoulder, like and, really showing like I want to be with her and checking out Robin and, and all that stuff. And so Mary just goes ahead and says that because she was at the worst part of her marriage, like mm -hmm. it was at such a low point. Yes. So she decided, hey, I'm gonna go over there for my man. Mm -hmm. And maybe this will bring us together. Because even she said that Robin helped bring them together in some weird, sickly way. Like she was our little secret. Right. And she well, was not wrapped too tight. That's all I like well, can say. Well, they, were, they <laughs> weren't <laughs> telling the other wives that Cody was checking out some other woman. Well, you know, it also is funny they didn't involve you when they got married either. <laughs> <laughs> they went together and refused for um, cameras Mary. to go into that courtroom to see them get married. So I would not be surprised if Robin went, made, got a whole new dress and she has um, pictures and maybe her kids were brought through the back door of the courtroom. It was all there. I would not be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised at all. But yeah, so McKelsey, um, she said that basically she does not think Robin went there. But I think that even if that, well, even if she didn't, I do think that she heard word of mouth that Cody was going to be there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because my thing is, it's probably like a dance for like single people. And mm -hmm. he already had all of his wives. So why would you go if you're not looking for another wife? Exactly. And why would you go if you weren't checking for Robin? Exactly. Because I do think somebody, I think Robin's friend maybe called Cody or something. And yeah. he went over there immediately and he was like, was Mary, there. come with me yes. or whatever and stuff. And then he was probably probing Mary to go and like... Yeah go get this wife and bring her in. Cause I remember when they were on their honeymoon, he was like, and the mirror's like, oh, she's cute. He's like, oh my God, you what, you think she should be another wife? I was just like, Yes, Whoa. I remember. I remember when, yes, when they went so on their honeymoon. He has this little and she's like, oh, stuff oh, she, doing. Actually, she, all she said was like, she's she cute. was cute. She's nice. That was it. And he oh, made Mary, it you busy. have to, I, I have to keep Mary away from women because she's going to have me married. And, she wasn't, and she said, I'm not saying all of that. And my but thing is also, continued. it's never really married. Because my thing no. is, she didn't look for Janelle. Damn, no. sure. why would she go look for her sister-in-law to be her sister wife? Yeah, she That's didn't look for Janelle, sick. she didn't look for Christine. She hated Christine, I do believe, because yeah. she was like, they had such a romantic love. Like, yeah. he, she didn't really, she wasn't affected with Janelle because it was more of like a... Yeah. That's my homie. That's my bro. Hey, I'll, I'll see you. And Janelle, Friends with benefits. Janelle, you know, hey, knock it. Up. Janelle was not showing all that passion that they had once the door closed. Not at all. 
I listen. So I would very actually thought probably. Oh please, Janelle is just this, you know. I swear, I thought Janelle was a nun until she I said that. I told you she though. Was a nun. I said I promise. I was like, please, you, Janelle is too. This lady right here. <laughs> Did I say that? You did, but I, I, I didn't it. believe it. I was like, nah, there's no way. Janelle, Janelle don't even like being the kissed on the neck in public. You don't expect the least you expect. Yeah, those are the ones. Yeah. So, all of that. Mm-hmm. But I, I appreciate Mikelsey giving us her point of view. But her <laughs> daddy already revealed in the book that he, he already book, knew Mary daddy. before that. And I think he was yeah, hell bent on getting with Robin. And of course, he we was. know that Cody has a tendency to manipulate Mary, Mary. into doing certain things. Yes. Even with the whole Flagstaff thing, holding her, like, oh, we're going to go to Cottonwood together just for I him know. to get back down to Las Vegas. Be like, pass. I don't like Cottonwood. I actually want to do Coyote Pass. <laughs> It's just like you pull a 360, just like how you pull a 360 on Christine when oh, he baby. lied to her face and Poor said, baby. oh, yeah, we're going to move back to um, Flat. Uh, we're going to move back to Utah. Utah. I, know. I, I don't want to move there. Christine said that and they're like, I can't be married to Cody. No I more. think she probably had whiplash. And then she had crazy ass Mary talking about, let's look at the mountains. This is the mountains you look at when you haven't had sex for 12 <laughs> years. Is that what you're looking at? Oh, I will not be you. Yes. That's for damn sure. <laughs> To like this no. day, Cody has not forgiven Mary. Hell that. no! It was because of you, you and your craziness. You the last one she spoke to before she, she left to me. Leave. This conversation is the same. I have to go. Hmm. Anyway, y'all, it's Mary. And Emma. We want y'all to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell us what you think about what Mike Kelty feels. And if you feel as though it's kind of leading more to what we said. Yeah, I definitely think so. 